So now I'm going to actually show you how I use my tracking journal and the reason why the journal is small and compact is just so I can carry it with me wherever I go and just track the things I need to track. It's just very simple and I really enjoy the first page because it does get me motivated and excited. I then will use the exercise and water page to track the days I exercised and how I felt about it. I either do a smiley face or, you know, if I didn't feel too good, then I would put a sad face. And I track how much water I took that day. If I reach my goal, I'll circle it or highlight it. For the next page, I would usually write the food that I'm trying to avoid and also I'll set goals for that week. For example, this first week, I want to make sure that I have a lot of broccoli and fish meals. I want to have oranges in the morning and I want to have spinach soup. And if I do end up making them, I'll either put a check or an X if I don't. And if I really did enjoy it, I'll put a heart just so I know to try that recipe again that I made during that week for the goals that I wanted to achieve. For the books, I will write what book I read, 
the author and if I had fun reading it and then the little paragraph at the end of the month just describing maybe what I learned or what I enjoy about the readings. The last two pages are just the three main goals for each category in my life. So usually the most important for me are health, art, and family. And these are just some examples of each one of those. And lastly, for the journal and section, I will write something I feel happy about, something I feel sad about, or maybe something I feel proud about during that day or whenever I'm doing the journaling and doodling. And then I'll just do a small doodle such as the one you see here. But I hope you guys like the video and enjoy it and get to try the same journaling technique at home. Let me know down in the comments below.